week nine of the fantasy basketball season. And here's a few forwards I would drop this week. The first guy, Evan Fournier of the New York Knicks, a Fournier. He got off to a hot start early in the season, but now signing that four year, 18 million a year type of deal for 78 million. He just hasn't gotten the job done at all as Fournier on the season. The numbers, not too crazy. 12.4 points a game, 2.8 rebounds, 1.7 assists, two and a half threes a game, and 40% from the field. So he's another guy here. If he's hitting the three ball, he could be great for fantasy owners. But obviously that hasn't been the case. Only shooting 40% on the season from the field here. In the last few games for 48, December 8th at Indy, Anna Pace is seven points, four boards at three, an assist, a block, 33% from the field. December 10th at the wrap is nine points, two boards, a steal, three threes, 37% from the field. And December 12th versus the Milwaukee Bucks, six points, two boards, three assists, a steal, a three, 25% from the field. So right now, he's only scored double digit points. Is Fournier twice this month here. And that's just not getting the job done. And I know the Knicks have a couple guys out for the protocols and stuff. R.J. Barrett, obviously out. Quentin Grimes, Kemba Walk has been benched till further notice. But right now, he's been really struggling here as Fournier. And he's not contributing enough to be worthy on 10 and 12 team leagues, in my opinion. And he's a forward I would drop this week. The second guy is Doug McDermott of the San Antonio Spurs. So McDermott got a nice payday in the offseason to join this first year. And he got off to a good start early in the year, but right now the numbers have gone down and he's fizzled out on the season. 11.1 points a game, 2.4 rebounds, 1.3 assists, 2.1 threes a game, and 46% from the field. But the thing here with McDermott, we know he's a one-trick pony. It's really really just going to be scoring and three-point shooting with a decent field goal percentage. And fantasy owners have finally come to know that here with McDermott and they've dropped them in 11% of fantasy leagues because in the box score the last two out of three games haven't been totally bad for him but this is a guy you just can't count on each and every night for your lineup in my opinion December 9th versus Denver 17 points three rebounds three threes 50% from the field December 11th he put in a bad ball game versus Denver 0 for 3 from the field a rebound no points, and that was it. And then December 12th versus the Pelicans, 13 points, four boards, and assist, a three and 54% from the field. So right here, there's going to be games like we saw on December 11th versus Denver where he don't show up and do anything at all. So he's too inconsistent for my taste, and he's only really a two-category guy for fantasy owners. So right here, obviously, you want a guy on the waiver wire or trade for a guy who's going to give you five or six categories. And Doug McDermott's never been that guy. So right now, if you're looking for a guy that does more for your team, he's an easy drop this week. And the third and final forward, I look to drop Jeff Green of the Denver Nuggets. So Jeff Green, he had a decent flash of ball games in the last month of the season. But right now, he's pretty much another guy that's not really doing much. Two or three categories he's given on his year. On the season, 9.6 points a game, 3.1 rebounds, 1.1 assists. 48% from the field, so we know he's not really a good three-point shooter is green. Rebounding, pretty decent, but he's just not doing enough, in my opinion, to go under a roster spot in 10 and 12 team leagues as well. The last few games here for Jeff Green, December 9th at the Spurs, four points, a rebound, an assist, a block, 40% from the field. December 11th at the Spurs again, eight points, a rebound, three assists, a steal, 100% from the field. Then December 13th versus Washington, 13 points, five rebounds, a three and 66% from the field. So he's really only a two or three category type of player is Jeff Green. And he has been dropped in 5% of fantasy weeks. No doubt about it. He could get hot again and go on a good run, but that just hasn't been the case for him in the last two or three weeks. So right now, while he's fizzled out here is Jeff Green and the playing time has dropped down just a bit here. He's a forward I would drop this week. If he gets hot, you go out there and pick him up again. But right now, I would drop them. So that's a few forwards I would drop here for week nine of the fantasy basketball season.